This one I drew a little earlier. It has five groups on the center atom. Like that. Well, this shape is called trigonal. Bipyramidal. Now let's start taking off uh, taking off electrons and let's see if I think your book does oh it does do this first one okay some of them your book skips but it does do this first one if you start take off one uh, element and change it to a lone pair it will go there and this shape funny enough is called seesaw Yeah, it's kind of like this is the base, yeah. and teeter-totter, you know, if I do it the other way, yeah. Uh, if you take off two, uh, it'll look like this. We saw this one a little earlier, that. Yeah, this is called the T-shaped. Still another one. You take off three. Yeah, I know it's exciting. And it doesn't matter where the lone pairs are, right? It will matter. They go in a specific spot. This will go on one of the trigonal part. Both of these will go on the they uh, lone pairs on the trigonal bipyramidal electronic shape will always go on the trigonal part. Yeah, it's just the way they do it. That's how they roll. So this one, what do you think the geometric shape is? Linear. Yeah. Is that a look linear? Hopefully. Uh, yeah. So this is, you know, this is one of the parts like, just look at it, it looks linear, you don't have to memorize that name. Hopefully, you know. Uh, hopefully, like, this looks T-shaped, this looks seesaw, etc. This is all trigonal pyramidal electronically. But geometrically, see how they have four different names. Okay, and then finally, the last one you'll learn in this class is the octahedral shape. It has six things on the center atom. This is called octahedral. Okay, and then, yeah, it takes one off. If you take one off, We'll take the one on the bottom. It doesn't matter at all here, because they're all equivalent. Uh, it's not quite bent, because you need two things to be bent. This is, See how it still is a pyramid? But the pyramid has a base of four. Uh -huh. It's a square pyramidal. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's red right here. Square pyramidal. Okay, and if you take two off, like this, huh? it looks like an X, yeah, we just call it square planar, just like this is trigonal planar, kind of the same idea, so this one, Square planar. And there's. A, a, oh, yeah, and then the rest just progress to a T shaped, then linear. Yeah, oh, most of them they don't go into because they don't exist in nature. There's one more I'll sometimes refer to, though I think it's a pretty rare shape, uh, is if you have something like this. But you're right, yeah, it would progress the same way. They just don't really exist too much in nature. If you have four. What do you think this shape is? It's linear. Yeah, it's linear. And since we have eight uh, lone pairs, you can't really progress beyond that, right? There is one more common shape that has seven groups around the center. I think it's called 
Uh, <sighs> pentagonal bipyramidal. Uh, and that's kind of, it's getting to your upper limit right there. But it, it can have different coordinations that are definitely possible. So this, all octahedral, but notice the electronically, but different geometric shapes for each one of these. Those names you gotta know. Yeah. Um, so, I understand there's geometric names for the ones that you take off, but how about the ones that you don't take off? There's no geometric name, or the ge geometric name is already that name of the... You got it. Okay. Exactly. Like this one, for example, the geometric and electronic shape are equal. Okay. Same as this. Everything in black here. Uh, another way to say that, when there's no lone pairs, both names are equal. Mm -hmm. No lone pairs, both names are equal. It's when you put lone pairs, you got different names. Could you explain why it's called octahedral? When there's no why is this octahedral? Yeah, let's see if I have one of these. Uh, I don't know if anybody pl have played uh, when you're a little kid uh, in high school, like those nerd games that have the octahedral die like Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. I've just heard about it, I've never played it. Right. The, it. Here's the octahedral, right? It has six things, but it has eight faces of the die. So this would be an eight-sided die if you actually made it into a die. Mm. So that's why the octahedral name. It comes from the faces, not the actual what it looks like. It's kind of funny that way. But yeah, but where the rest of them come, not from faces, but by what its actual structure looks like. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I think it oh, yeah. extends back to like geometry, and then like chemistry borrows from geometry. Yeah, yeah. There's like mathematical, uh, like not polyhedra. I guess polyhedra might be the best term for it. Yeah, terms. And then all of these, you'll want to know bond angles. So, for example, what's the bond angle here? One eighty. One eighty. Everything linear is one eighty. Got to be. Trigonal planar is going to be one twenty. Now, what do you think the bond angle is here? A ideal, what we call ideal bond angle. Uh, one, uh, 360 over one, um, 3. Yeah, it's still 120. All of these, they don't change the bond angles. So, here I told you it's 109.5. All of these have the same 109.5. Oh, okay. And here, 120 and 90. All of these are 120 and 90. I mean, this one is like two 90s, which is 180, because it's linear. And this one, everything's 90. And everything here, 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 they're all 90s. So it keeps the bond angle of the original one each time. So you don't have to memorize bond angles for each one, just know the original. And then you're set. Let's so say, like, for a phosphate, we have a trigonal bipyramidal, right? Say instead of one of the oxygens on top, we replace that with uh, selenium or tectinium. Okay. Uh, would that alter the bond in any way? Like the three um, that are lining. Um, across the x-axis then no. yeah uh, okay the bond these bond angles are all ideal they're not actual so yeah the actual ones can vary significantly like water is actually 105 about but the ideal bond angle is 109.5 so whenever you put on a different atom things are going to change depending on how big or small it is and depending on where its electrons go